So, uh, you know, when we got the word in spring training, uh, I was able to actually go home to Charlotte. Um, I actually put a little gym in my house, was able to get some workouts in in the morning. I uh, was able to keep doing my hitting. We had a uh, facility we were able to go to just a couple guys at a time to hit in. So I uh, was able to kind of stay up on my baseball stuff, you know, watching these negotiations happen. And uh, luckily we got through and we're here today. So it's, uh, it's, been, uh, it's been crazy, you know, never seen anything like this, but uh, I'm glad we're here now. We're, we're, we're kind of nearing the finish line of getting this thing going and uh, we're, we're all excited to be here. I would imagine it was frustrating for you, especially how well you were doing in spring training to get it shut down. But going home, were you able to continue some of the work that you were doing with Tony Womack and also Damian Easley? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I was able to keep all that stuff up, which was nice. Um, yeah, we had a facility back home that uh, even during these times, they would uh, allow a couple in at a time to be able to throw batting practice to, you know, staying in the guidelines. So uh, we were able to do that. And I was able to stay up on my stuff, um, which was good. You know, it was tough not being able to play and, you know, having a nice spring training to start and getting that close to starting uh, the season. But uh, at the end of the day, you just have to adjust. And, uh, you know, I felt like um, I was able to get some good work in at home and come back out here ready to rock and roll. Thanks, Will. All right, next up, Marty Caswell, 1360. Well, how, how mentally and physically ready do you feel for, I guess, if you want to call it a grind, a, a 60, a very unusual 60-game season? Can you, can you uh, start that question over? Sorry. I'm sorry. How, how mentally and physically ready do you feel for what's going to be an unusual, very unusual 60-game season? Uh, I feel ready. You know, I think it's one of those things that it's a level playing field for every every team out there. And I think the team that adjusts the best and, and welcomes these challenges to uh, to be able to adjust is going to do the best this year. So I feel like we have to meet those head on and uh, just be ready for a different season than we've ever than we've have ever had before. But like I said, I think the team that adjusts the best and, and meets these things head on uh, will have the most success. So, you know, we'll, whatever kind of comes our way, you know, I, I know each team's going to, uh, you know, get behind the eight ball at some point this season with, with COVID or, you know, something might come up, but uh, the team that uh, has the ability to really bounce back and, and come through that uh, is going to is going to be the team that has the most success this year. I know that every single year you've gotten used to us asking you where are you going to play this year, whether it's third base or the outfield or first base. How, how beneficial do you think for you and for your career at this point uh, is the, uh, uh, the DH being in the National League? How beneficial would that be to you? Uh, I think it'll be good. I think it'll be good for, um, you know, I think it'll be good for everybody here. Honestly, I think everybody will, will enjoy a nice day off at times to be able to get a DH to get their legs underneath them. Um, you know, I don't think it'll be one of those things where I'm, I'm, a prim pri I'm DHing primarily, but, uh, you know, I think for me, just be able to focus on the outfield, getting better there. And then if, the, if those times come where I get the DHA, uh, you know, that'll be nice as well. But uh, my focus mainly is just being a great right fielder this year and, and focus on my defense there. Great so far. You know, we uh, we stayed in uh, constant communication, you know, whether it be every week, every other week uh, during the two months that I was at home. Uh, he's been great, you know, uh, keeping guys involved and, and letting and letting people know what's going on. And since we've been here, he's uh, he's he's kept us in line with our social distancing as well. You know, he he's taken it upon himself to, to really follow the rules and, and really get uh, the most out of what's going on this year. So it's exciting to see. He's been great so far. Uh, I think everybody here is, uh, has enjoyed uh, playing for him so far. So it's, uh, it's been, a good, uh, been a good three months so far for him. Hi, Will. I know you said that everyone, I know you said that everyone pretty much is, is, is under the same constraints with the season and 60 games for everybody. But I'm just curious what you think strategically might be different this season in terms of the way the game is played, whether it's bullpens or days off for guys or just how a 60-game season versus 162-game season might look. Yeah, I think uh, I think the biggest thing from a gameplay perspective is is definitely going to be the use of the bullpens. I feel like uh, you know it's going to be postseason pitching from uh, opening day on. Um, I think guys are going to go to their bullpens, especially uh, with a thirty man roster to start. Um, you know, each game's important. You know, opening day is is really a must win. You know, you you, you fall out of first place right away in a sixty game sprint. So. Uh, I think the pitching is, is going to be huge this year. Our bullpen, uh, you know, was, uh, you know, our bullpen was constructed for a, a situation like this, which is nice. Uh, we got a great bullpen, uh, and I feel that we will use that. I feel like uh, a lot of teams will go to their bullpens at times and use that postseason pitching um, very often uh, because of the sprint to uh, the 60-game season. Right, next up, Darnay Tripp. Hey, Will, hope you're well. First off, just curious, like how you guys are a week into this thing. How, how's it been going from your perspective, just from the baseball side, all the intra-squad games, and obviously like the new protocols? And I have another question after that. Yeah, the, uh, the inter-squads have actually been a lot of fun. Um, you know, there's some friendly competition out there. There's some, uh, some nice trash talk going on, which is a lot of fun at times. 
Uh, you know, we don't really, really get to uh, face each other often other than live BPs. And, uh, you know, now we're in a situation that it is game like, and, uh, you know, you're facing guys that you've known for a long time, your friends. So it, uh, it's a lot of fun, um, but, uh, you know, we're getting the most out of it. Um, each and every day we get in our work in um, early on um, following protocols. You know, we have our, uh, we have our testing every other day, which has been going well. Um, but uh, other than that, the inner squads have been a lot of fun. We're getting a lot out of them, um, you know, and uh, we're, we're facing a lot of good pitchers on our side. You know, we face our bullpen. I faced Kirby and, and Pagan yesterday. They were, you know, those are two tough at bats. And, uh, you know, you won't face too many tougher at bats than that. So it's good to kind of see guys like that here and uh, going into the season facing guys that, you know, we have guys that are as good, if not better than. And what do you think about just the collection of talent around you in the outfield? I mean, you're, You've obviously been kind of one of the standbys, but just in terms of that group's ability to maybe bring more stability and kind of consistent production from those spots. Yeah, no, it's, it's been nice. You know, we've seen a lot of great young players through here. We saw them in spring training a lot, but now, you know, we're getting to see them up close and personal, um, you know, especially Oliveris. I've seen him play, man. He's, uh, he's, he's really good, man. You see guys like that uh, come in. Naylor, same way. He's been, he's been hitting really well here and, uh, and really uh, taking a step on his defense. So it's been really cool to see a lot of guys like that come in, uh, playing really well, working really hard at their craft, and, and you're seeing the results on the field. Next up, we'll go to Dennis Lynn. Hey, Will. You, uh, you mentioned the um, negotiations from earlier this year. kind of feels like five years ago now, I guess. Uh, I'm just curious, what were your impressions of how that went down? And second question, how confident are you right now at this point that they will get 60 games in this year? Uh, you talk about negotiations with uh, the union and the league. Correct. Uh, yeah, you know what? It, it, at the end of the day, it's a business, and uh, sometimes they get messy. It is what it is. Um, you know, I don't have too much to say about that. Uh, I feel very confident in getting in the 60 games. I feel like uh, guys here in this clubhouse, and I feel like throughout the league, uh, everybody's starting to understand that we have to take this upon ourselves to uh, to come together, to follow protocol, to social distance when we need to um, outside of the field. Uh, I feel like uh, as a collective group of players so far, we have kind of come together and realized that, hey, it's going to take all of us to get through this situation. And uh, I feel very confident that uh, the league and the, our, our players will be able to do that. Thank you. And we'll finish up with a last question from Kevin Acey. Hey, Will, how cool is it you get to play more than 10% of your games in Coors Field this year? <laughs> hey, that is cool. You know, I did see that. That's, uh, that, that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but, you know, it, it's going to be cool, you know, to play all through the West Coast, to play these other American League team, American League West teams. Uh, Colorado is obviously going to be a fun time, but uh, it's going to be cool to play some, uh, some people outside of the division, and um, it should be a lot of fun this season. Hey, um, how long ago does it feel like all the stuff – I don't know if you know what I mean by that – all the stuff that we were all asking you about uh, in spring, and, and how good was it to get some separation from that in the last few months? Yeah, it's been good. Um, you know, I, I tell you what, I felt good in spring training. I was really hoping to kind of continue that, uh, especially offensively. But, uh, you know, you have to adjust. It was good to kind of get away. It was uh, interesting being in North Carolina for a summer uh, for two months. I hadn't done that in 11 years. So uh, that was something. So that was that was kind of refreshing. But, uh, you know, it's good to be back here. You know, this is what uh, you spent all offseason preparing for this season. And, uh, you know, we're here. We're ready to rock and roll. And I feel like uh, all the guys here are on the same page and ready to roll.